Oh my god, oh. I met Abunaga. <laughs> Very nice to see you. That's amazing. Thank you so much for making it here. And sorry for the delay. I had another student, but uh you are here. So I am is Rukaya joining? I have no idea. <laughs> send her send her the link and see if she is joining. But I'm I'm so 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 happy to see you. Um you're really one of my favorite students and I'll tell you the truth I'm gonna be just brutally honest it's not the academic part of you it's how fun you are you're just so much fun the energy you vibe like oh my god it's just so much fun to see you on the screen on the zoom among everyone else and it's it you just you just have this thing I, I don't know what it is but you have this fun enthusiastic lovely smiling person um and sometimes sarcastic in a very funny way and i love it when you're sarcastic <laughs> i love it so much so so that's that i mean it was just so good having you in the course like all year long it was so good so ele you did not take the exam in may 2023 right you are taking you're still about to take it in november right Yes, I'm going to take it. Yes, you will do very, very well. And um, did did you get that metal question? You know, like why um, X is more reactive or, or Y is less reactive? You know, you know why it's this way. Yeah, this question is important. So, so make sure you you master it. But I'm glad you asked about it. So keep practicing. But I I want to ask you about how was chemistry before you joined? You joined. Uh, in August, about nine months ago. So how was the course before you joined the course? Like before you, how was chemistry before you joined the course? I was like an eighth grader back then. And I was horrible at chemistry. The teacher never explained. She just wrote notes on the board and read it and salam alaikum, she leaves. So I really hated chemistry. I'm like, I despise the subject. I'll never use it in life. I hate it. And I always told my mom, I can't, I won't take chemistry. And she's like, you have to, you might need it. So I just, I couldn't, mustahil. And as well as that, they kept on changing the teachers. I couldn't just, I couldn't. Like chemistry was so horrible. I didn't understand anything. I'm like asking the miss, like, what is an exothermic reaction? She just wrote notes and I was really confused. I was lost in chemistry. And I'm like, you khalas, I despise it. And I never knew what what chemistry meant. I just knew it's chemistry. Khalas. That's it. Yeah. It was yeah. really just Hmm. I looked at the subject I get so unmotivated I'm like I'm not studying and I failed literally all the chemistry in eighth grade like my mom would check my report card she's like oh okay biology physics and then chemistry what, what happened here what's happening here like I genuinely got really horrible marks in chemistry it was so I got better marks in biology which I'm like very yanny, yanny uh, you know and I was actually shocked because like why is chemistry that bad I mean, Saraha, alhamdulillah, now I'm very good. Very, like, nice. It's nice. I like it. How, how are your grades now in chemistry? They're way better. And I'm inshallah, I like now. I just don't study. I just read your summaries. And I would go inside the exam and just get full marks and get really high grades. Alhamdulillah. You know? Wow. You read you know. the summaries and you get full mark? Yeah. That's, wow. honestly, I'm, that's how easy the exams here are. I shouldn't, like... I look at the questions, I'm like, oh, I saw this and missed it as homework. Yeah, it's okay. I'll just like, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know the answer. Yeah, it's easy. Like, oh, I, I've been through this before. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, this is, uh, I went like through torture. I should know this stuff. So like, Kenny, if I get like one mark, Kenny, if I lose one mark, I get mad at myself. I was like, I solved this girl. What are you doing? A hundred times, probably. hundred page homework. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> <laughs> homework. Um, yeah, I I honestly did not want to say anything in the video about the number of pages in the homework, but you said it. So uh and I'm not gonna okay. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't want the new students to know that some homework are actually a hundred pages, but um that's how you get full marks in school, is because you've seen all those questions before you you know what to do. Like you just yeah, look at and like, yeah I'm, I did this nobody cares <laughs> that's why like I finished at, at least 10 minutes only 10 minutes and I'm done and honestly I'm shocked myself like how fast like I finish 
and like it's and honestly very nice how like I like chemistry now and I kind of like like it more like I don't despise that I despise that a little less you know <laughs> the beginning yeah. I say and it's all this is amazing Ale so Ale yeah. you, you started you you are younger than everybody else I mean than almost all other students in the group and that's that's just amazing you are one of the youngest you're still in year nine and you're taking the course that and this course is for year 10 and 11 and and you're in year nine so but you made it you made it and you made it very very well so how did you keep like how did you keep up with the pace of the course because this course is made for a little bit older students a little bit more experienced students also students to, who come to this course usually have an idea of chemistry like they usually took this stuff before so how did you keep up didn't that's why because <laughs> like I had other courses like computer science and like I was gonna take it with chemistry and it's like very hard so it was really hard to balance I'm like what am I supposed to do and I don't know what <laughs> so yeah <laughs> sorry so it was like I still, awesome. think, I still think you kept up with the course and you did pretty well compared to like you're doing as well as the older students so I still want to know the secret <laughs> The secret is to just, <laughs> just um, what I like to do, like before the lesson or like before I had saw, like I just open the notes and just like read it. I'm like, okay, well, this is nice. And then like, I sometimes don't understand some points. So I usually highlight them and then I'm like, okay, this is going to like explain this later. So oh, like, yeah, time. that's, that's a really good, that's a really good tip. So before the lesson, you read the notes and then if there's something that's not clear, you highlight it. And you kind of wait for me to explain it so that you know it's clear. Oh, that's yeah, yeah. It's like a really nice idea, and you you don't understand this point, and like if I still don't understand, I'll start asking questions. You know, and usually like what I like about the course is just like you answer anything. Like Anna, I ask like millions of questions. You're like, yeah, let me answer this. Like even oh, if it's like so super stupid. Yeah, your questions were all always spot on. No, no wonder why your questions were so good because you read the notes before like joining the class so wow that's that's a really good tip I think that's the secret Ella I mean because you did so well and you were like you you understood things like pretty quickly uh, especially again that you're the younger students one of the youngest students oh my god so like the problem is actually I know myself because I'm a very slow learner and I forget really easily like I need the most easiest things or the most simplest things I'll forget it after five seconds you will generally tell me your name if I just meet you I will forget it the f- like after five seconds I'm like what's your name again so it was like really hard and I would always read the notes I'm like I have to know this if I don't I'm failing like so I'm like chemistry and I have to like know everything every single detail so like who knows the examiner can say I need always be kind you know he can just yeah get anything. Mm-hmm. and it's like and- awesome. I don't know if you have seen uh, the 2023 exams, but they were like, there were questions from inside, like hidden in the notes. Like there was a question about what is rust and and it's in the notes. It's the top of the page, but like some students forgot, oh, is it the hydrated iron oxide or is it the anhydrous iron oxide? So it's like inside the notes, (laughs) like when you prepare for the November exam, just keep on the good work of reading the notes especially that now you say like my memory is not the best <laughs> that's the problem that's why i'm scared taking like chemistry i'm like I, what if i forget something in the exam because like, i get really scared really easily like i go into the exam i'll forget everything the, and, like, all the information just flies out of my brain and i'm like what is this wait what's uh like solid what's a solid again what what's like the separation <laughs> i forget everything you know, i i get so like nervous and I don't I don't know I have to like stop that habit so yeah oh say it? <laughs> but I mean I'm 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 so like I'm so proud of you because you really did well and it seems that just to solve your problem because I kind of like when I hear a problem I want to solve it right away that memory thing I think reading the summaries again and again and again and again it starts to to you know, make an image in your brain. Like I, when I was in pharmacy school, I didn't have the best memory, but my teacher, my, my, I I actually took courses like outside of the college, but, but my teacher, my tutor did these like large sheets 
not like not yeah like my summaries large sheets with all the formulas and all the structures and everything and and I remember this drug called Yuhimbin. I, I cannot remember what it's used for, but I, I kind of remember. And I remember it being at the center bottom of the page. And I just remember it, where it was, what it was for and everything about it. And um, one time the, the tutor said, oh, there's this drug used for blah, blah, blah. And what is that drug? And I'm like, Yuhimbin. And he's like, yes, that's right. And I'm like, it's at the center bottom of this sheet. And he's like, you study this way and I'm like yes I study this way it's like an image in my brain <laughs> this is a really good this this happened to me today in the final exams today we had chemistry by the way miss so yeah I saw it from your summaries and like I remembered something in your summaries I can't see the word like I know where it is it's in this corner it's in the third line and I'm like what's what's the name that's the big problem like what's the like the use of just knowing where it is if you don't know the name yeah I'll just write it's in the bottom do you remember the question now the question uh no miss it was like about uh you know the basic oxides and the acidic oxide the example they wanted an example. So I remember these examples are like, you know, like NaOH, like, you know, those stuff. It was here. I remember it was here. And I can't remember if it was acidic or basic. So I kept on like thinking, I just put whatever. <laughs> oh, Ale, <laughs> if it's a non-metal oxide, it's acidic, Ale. <laughs> I, I know this. I know. I just couldn't remember. My brain just, I don't know what happened in here. Just oh, it's happened. okay. It's okay. You're you're still in the process. You're getting it. You you have um, you have a full June, July, August, September. You have four full months. That's a long time. And you're done with it. You're done. I mean, you're ready. You can take the exam right now and get an A star, but you still have four months to master everything. So that's plenty of time. And and you're still younger than your colleagues, by the way. I mean, <laughs> nobody takes the exam at this time. Usually they take it later when they're grade 10 or 11. So that's just, I'm just so, 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 so proud of you. So, Ale, one of my funniest students in the class, and it was such a pleasure. Oh my God, I'm going to miss you so much. I cannot imagine my class without Ale. Um, but I have a question for you for newer students. This is for new students who are, you know, going to join the course in, in August. What advice do you want to give, it, give them or what do you want them to know? Um, advice okay what I like just learn you know like open the notes solve everything you feel unmotivated no your future is depending on chemistry even if you're not taking chemistry like you have to like you know learn as much as you can you know like learn sometimes much as some you can. Students, like they genuinely open like the classifieds and they just solve two pages and they're like yeah I solved class let's close it you gotta solve this is this is the only advice I have nothing just Solve past papers and solve Miss Nirvana's homework. It helps so much. Solve Miss Nirvana's homework. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> As, if you don't solve it, you're probably getting like, I don't know, a seven. I'm kidding. But I'm like, you can get like a high score, but generally your homework like has everything, everything in it at the end. Like even the old, old questions. You, I don't know how you got every single question from like old past papers. It's honestly very helpful because you also know the old ideas. So yes. just in case I get it in the future, you know, yes. it's like really, you know, yes. the 2002, it's probably the hardest, hardest like homeworks I've solved. I would like look at the question. I'm like, what is this? Yeah, 2002, I, it was even before you were born, like in, into life. Like that's, <laughs> I, like I would just see like the years on my like, 2009 and seven. What are these questions? Alhamdulillah, I was born 2009 and I wasn't doing the exams now. I would have done so bad. <laughs> Look at looking at the questions. I'm like, how yeah. did these people think? Like, yeah, mm -hmm. the first student, uh, the first student I taught took the exam in um 2004, November 2004. Her name was Maryam. She was my very first student. She took the exam in November 2004, and alhamdulillah, she passed. She got an A. She was my very first student, but it was 2004. So can you imagine, like, such an old, 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 old exam and you Ella were not even born at the time like wow wow <laughs> miss you're looking at your students now like they're 2009 the next year is going to be 2010 miss 2010. 
<laughs> my kids oh my age yes yes <laughs> oh your kids age so oh, sorry my, yeah no, no no this i mean my daughter is 2010 so my daughter her picture is here she was born in 2010 so um like when i started teaching my students used to be just a little bit younger than me and they 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 were like younger a younger sister and they couldn't even say miss nirvana they they just said nirvana because we were just so close in age and their parents actually could not believe that I'm a teacher they were like where's your mom <laughs> I was, I swear I once had a I had a parent who looked at me and she's like we're here for uh, a teacher it's probably your mom and like I swear like it was at my home like students used to come to my home and um so that was like that's that was how I started so <laughs> Ms. Michelle, I look so young Michelle, I I swear I thought you were 23 and oh, when I heard you I'm like what impossible no no she looks so young like Allah like how I'm like you have kids I'm like what <laughs> she's 23 <laughs> That's when I first saw you. I'm like, what? It's impossible. Impossible. Oh, you're, you're so sweet, Ella. You seriously are so, so sweet. <laughs> so, Ella, I mean, what what, what do you have in November? Uh, chemistry and what? ICT also? I'm not taking ICT. I'm going to take computer science and English. <laughs> computer science and English. Okay, so three subjects in November. That's Yeah. That's a big job. And you're not even into grade 10. Wow. That's like very ambitious. You're... I, you know what? I love your mom. She is a very ambitious person. She put you on this track and she has a plan for you and it's a really good plan and you're doing so well, but you're pushing the the zone, you know, you're pushing the comfort zone because you're doing what older people are doing right now at this age. Like how old are you? 14, right? 13? I don't yeah, know. 14. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my God. Yeah. So you're 14 years old and you're starting your O-level journey. So that's, that's amazing. But um, when you finish like the October, November, I want to hear back from you because I want to know how that went with three subjects. Um, so, so please don't forget me. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I, you, I can't <laughs> forget, impossible, Miss Nirvana, impossible forgetting about her. I still going to tell my future kids about you, Miss Impossible. Oh my impossible. God, you're going to tell your kids about me. <laughs> They, I've been alive for 14 years. You're probably one of the best teachers I've had. Oh, and you are so, so, so sweet. So sweet. Thank you, Ella, so much. And thank you for bringing the joy and the fun to the course every single lesson. I mean, we've had a lot of lessons and you brought the joy and the fun to everybody, not just me, but all the students. Like it was so like fun. And, and especially when we get stuck at something and you open the mic and you speak up and I'm like, wow, that's sarcastic. And it was like so funny when you do that. Like, you know what? I think I'm going to watch some of the lessons just to to see your comments and just to see you again. I, it was really, really fun. So thank you so much for for your presence and thank you for your character and your your demeanor and your personality. That was like, that was the best thing in the course. And um, I know you're going to do well in, in chemistry. You are already an A-star student. So I really am looking forward for that. So thank you so much again. Thank you. Yes, oh. I love you.